Hello, I am Dr. Mary Jo Ruggieri and I am a holistic health professional and welcome to Staying Well with Dr. Mary Jo. Today we're going to explore the science of energy part two and it's all about life and life force and how we got there. And then we're going to start with Mr. Einstein because I think this is a very, very important piece. I actually call this whole concept as above, so below. But starting with Mr. Einstein and what did he say? Here, if you look at my chart up here, the very top of it, energy, E equals MC squared. Energy is matter and matter is energy. Now, this is important because part of staying well is to understand that we are an energetic system. And I'm going to try to make it very simple so that you get like, wow, we are an energetic system. We're made up of atoms. And people say, well, how do we get there? And not, not understanding energy leads us to do things that disrupts our electrical and energetic system, then creates physical problems. Now, energy is matter and matter is energy. But for energy to move, we have to have a source. The source, and oftentimes people relate this in quantum physics to how the whole Earth and universe started was with the Big Bang Theory. But what happened is the Big Bang Theory did occur and it produced another system that was vital to our, our understanding of energy. It's called EMF, electromagnetic force. In electromagnetic force, after the Big Bang Theory and after the Big Bang occurred, you had actual movement of energy. You, to have energy to move, to have life force, you have to have poles, a positive pole, a neutral pole, and a negative pole. That poles actually shift. You attract energy and you repulse energy. And I'll get you quickly to understand how important it is and how it's connected to the vital systems of life force. So basically, the electromagnetic force, and it's a very cool system. Let me show you, just do a little quick demonstration to show you how electromagnetic force is quite action-oriented. Here is a, just a, a trigger ball, and if I make the connections, okay, make the poles and make the connections, I create action. And it's very simple. It's kind of fun too. So basically, what I want to show you today is how this moves from the idea that we are energetic beings down to the fact that we are not physical, just a physical system. We are an energetic system. With the attraction and repulsion and electromagnetic force, energy is always, when it comes in to meet, energy is always repelled and repulsed out. So energy moves from the source. Now remember, there's one vital thing here. Energy goes from high vibration to low vibration. Now it's the same thing, and I'm going to show you this, how we got here and how life force is. But the same thing as you see that we have how you have electricity and energy coming into your house. You have a power plant. The power plant, you can't go plug your toaster into the power plant. But energy steps down, so it slows down, so it gets to your neighborhood and your electrician can use it and put it into your house and all the circuit breakers that you need. So basically, what I want to show you is this system. Energy moves away from source and it's repulsed out, but then it's attracted in and makes a very big push and a pull in and it comes right back to the center. Now notice here in these colors, these energy, once it is attracted back in due to electromagnetic force, it spins. This is very important because as it's spinning, it's going to push it back out again and then it's attracted back in, then it spins again. These are called in ancient energy science and theories, these are called chakras. Chakras mean spinning wheels. So it's spun and stepped down a little bit further, spins out, moves away again, it's propulsed out, it is attracted back in, spins again, and it continues until it slows down where it's usable. Same thing as your power plant. You know, you see the transformers. Energy is moved out from the power plant, it spins it into those big old transformers and moves it out again till it slows it out, down so that we can use it. The same exactly is the same thing. Now, the important thing is here in each of the chakra centers, as it slows down, there are qualities. You know, colors have higher vibrations at the magenta, the blues and the purples, to slower vibrations at the reds and the browns. Everything, you know. So in ancient healthcare systems, Ayurveda and Chinese, they use this knowledge, which is basically quantum physics, to say, hey, energy goes through this whole chakra system. It steps energy down. Now, when you're at the higher vibration spinning before it steps down, this is called ether. Again, the elements are used in Ayurveda and Chinese, and it's a good system of, of assessment. As it slows down, as it, it's repulsed out, it slows down to air, 
to fire, to water, to earth. We call these the elements. And a lot of these traditional medicines are based on that. Out of the elements, out of the chakras come the elements. Out of the elements then come the physical body. This is how we are formed. This is how we are made. Now, the most important thing is understanding each of these qualities gives us a lot of knowledge about the mental, emotional, and physical states. You can have a very airy personality, or you can have a fiery, angry personality. This is what we study. And this is what I'm saying. Understand energy, and you will actually stay well. So this is your lesson today on as above, so below, and how to understand energy and its relationship to staying well. Thank you.